Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for decent margins. All of these items sold for $35 or less. Um, I've picked these items up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. One of the items in this video, my husband gave me a box of items and he's like, donate these. And I'm like, I'm going to look through that box and see what I can sell. And um, one of these bread and butter items came from that box. So it's not something I would have sourced. It's really something that I thought, should I even waste my time listing? And it sold. So I'm going to tell you guys about that. All right, let's get start started. Let's get started, Bolo Buddies. All right, the first item I sold is, oh, I'm not on screen share. That would have been no good. Okay. Here we go. The first item. I picked this up at a garage sale and I actually thought it would sell a little quicker than it did. And it is a frog towel holder and it's super, super cute. And I took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for $1, I do believe. The next item I sold is this Disney Brave Merida doll. She is new in the package and I got her at a garage sale for $2 and I sold her for best offer of $25 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold actually was an unexpected um, quick sale. Um, I did price it like usually I price high. This one I wanted to move quickly. So I priced it where the other items were priced and it sold really fast. I picked it up at a thrift store for a dollar. It is Linux. This is a major bread and butter. It sold for under $10. I actually took a best offer of seven, but I was like, there's quite a few listed and I just wanted to move it quick. So $7 buyer was all in for $13.43 with tax and shipping. And it's um, like a little dove candy dish, um, but it is by Linux. The next item that sold is this vintage Play School dollhouse replacement front door. And I sold this for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was purchased at a, I believe this one was a garage sale. It was in a bulk buy, so I probably had about 50 cents in it but they also bought this one that I got at a thrift store for a dollar. So for the two angel ornaments, and they are both by Carlton Cards, they were all in for $38.50 and the buyer paid shipping, which I do a shipping discount. Um, I believe it was $5 for both items for shipping. And with tax and um, shipping costs, they were all in for $46.12. Okay, here it is. Would you guys have sourced this to sell? I would not have. Again, it was in a pile that my husband handed me and said, donate it. And I'm like, that, I know it's a breakable, but that should be pretty easy to list and ship. And it sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's a ceramic duck spoon rest. So it's got the duck um, ducks painted. I don't know if that's hand painted or what, but um, yeah, I was happy with that sale. So I got it free. The next item my husband got at an estate sale, it was kind of like after the estate sale, I don't want to say a clean out because he didn't take everything, but he definitely took some stuff that he probably would not have normally sourced. These are the vintage time life nature hardcover books. Now these were very long tail, took a long time to sell and they sold for $25.99. The buyer was all in for $49.60. This went internationally. So they had custom fees and um, fees from global shipping also on top of that. The next item is this miniature dollhouse vintage garden hose. It's itty bitty, check it out. So cute. And it sold for best offer of $7.85. The buyer was all in for $12.72 for this little hose. The next item I think I probably could have got more for, but I went ahead and took a best offer of $15 on this item because I only had $3 in it. I got it at a garage sale. It's new old stock. 
It is a vintage Barbie, Barbie, vintage Barbie theater program premiere night is the doll. It is a special edition doll, new old stock, sold it for 15 plus shipping and tax. So the buyer was all in for 2708. All right, this item came from a garage sale and I was digging through a tote of toys and there were all of these princess shoes and crowns and I did a bundle deal and bought so much stuff out of this tote and I probably had a dollar or less in this. I sold this for a best offer of $10. The buyer was all in for $17.53. The next item came from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I was just trying to do like a sourcing on Marketplace with shipping, but here's the catch. I had a $10 coupon that Facebook sent me and I believe they were doing a free shipping offer. So I ended up having less than $5 in this and I sold it for $15. The buyer was all in for $22.25. So the buyer paid the shipping. These little cute bow ties came from a garage sale. I bought them with a bunch of ties and stuff. And I probably could have parted them out, but I decided to sell them as a lot. Probably had less than a dollar in these. I sold them for best offer of $25. The buyer was all in for $33.68. Okay, I remember the garage sale that I got these. Um, I paid 50 cents each for a whole bunch of these. I have a whole bunch listed. This one happened to have writing on the bottom. So I went ahead and took a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is about this big. It's a Power Ranger key and it opens like this. Little, little guy. And I sold this for $11.20 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale and a tote of toys and I looked up comps and they were decent. So I went ahead and listed it on its own. Okay, so this item I picked up at the Toys R Us going out of business sale. I can't remember what this retailed for. I was thinking there was a sticker on it somewhere. Maybe it was $50. So I think I had like $5 in this. I bought multiples. I have sold five on eBay. I think I sold a couple on Mercari and I had to wait until the other people sold theirs because it was a race to the bottom because everybody bought these they listed them low and everybody was trying to beat out everybody else's price. So what I did is I waited those people out. I listed mine at what I wanted to get out of it. And I waited on the right buyer. Mine sold for $25.59 and the buyer paid the shipping and tax. Now this is a bigger item. So the buyer was all in for $60.09. And um the next item I sold are these rub on transfers. These are for like crafting. And I sold these for $15 and I picked them up at a garage sale and a lot of crafters items. They also have been sitting in my basement forever and I finally decided to list them. They sold pretty quickly for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is an example of an item that I sold that was damaged. Um, I did take a best offer of $10 because it was damaged. You can see right here, you can see a really bad job of gluing the item back on. So it's one thing for the item to be damaged, but they just did a really yucky uh, glue stick job. I'm not sure why they did it this way, but that's how I bought it. I didn't catch it when I bought it. And I paid a dollar for it and I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So even with the damage, the item sold for $10, they, <clears throat> excuse me, they were all in for $17 and 51 cents. And I just put wings were glued back on and you can see the glue. So I just disclosed it and it actually sold pretty quickly. I sell these angels all the time. So when I saw it, it was a no brainer, but I don't know. I can't remember if I saw the glue or not. I'm gonna say that I didn't notice it because that was a lot of glue. So tell me you guys, would you have sold this item or would you have passed on it? And if you got home and noticed that it looked like this, would you have listed it or just donated it back? Let me know in the comments. The next item I sold are these vintage hanging monkey and bears. They are made in Hong Kong 
Somebody messaged me and told me that they go with the Fisher Price Circus set. Um, I probably should have went in and added Fisher Price. That probably would have helped, but they were not marked Fisher Price. They just said made in Hong Kong. Super cute. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $18.39. The next item I sold is this new old stock Care Bear from 2004. It is the Braveheart Lion. So it's the collector's edition. It is a cousin. And this sold for $15. I took a best offer. The buyer was all in for $21.84. This came from a garage sale for 50 cents and he's nine inches. So he's not one of the bigger ones. The next item I sold came from my bulk buy. I trying to get that off of there. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Um, I have a whole series on that. If you guys would like to check it out, you can find out what I paid for 344 pounds of jewelry. Just go to my playlist and you'll see it there. This is a brooch and earring set by Sarah Coventry. And they are clip-on earrings and they are marked. Signed is what it's called. And I probably should have put signed in the title, but I ended up taking a best offer of $30 for this. I thought I was going to get more for it, but that's okay. 30 bucks is good. Um, the buyer was all in for $38.34, so they paid shipping and tax. The next item is this vintage Battlestar Galactic Commander Adama action figure from 1978. It was... Um, it does say Hong Kong on it. And let me see. I thought I had a picture of it, but maybe not. Okay. Well, I sold this for a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $20.95. This was in that tote of items that I got from that garage sale a summer, two summers ago, I think. Sat in my basement forever. And I finally got the motivation to list all the toys in that tote. So this is an item that sold from that. The next item is this vintage Hallmark Valentine's Parties Good Housekeeping Recipes and More book. It's just a little book. And this is a major bread and butter. I sold this for $8, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping and tax. The next item is this 2001 Bratz doll. She only has a shirt and boots. Her hair's a little messy, but overall decent condition. And I sold her for $10. The buyer was all in for $19.35. And the last item I sold is this vintage television. It's a miniature dollhouse um, figure, toy, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like a metal or die cast material. It says made in Hong Kong. And I sold this for $25.60. The buyer paid tax and shipping. They were all in for $30.50. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video be sure to check out my new channel sourcing with bolo buddies all of my challenge videos my today's bolo my sourcing videos where i go to estate sales thrift stores garage sales whatnot are going to be over there so um be sure to check that out there's a link down in the description of the video thanks for being here thanks for watching let me know what your favorite bolo was in this video and if you can share out the video that would be greatly appreciated as always, I'll see you at the next one and thanks for watching.